Ah. Oh, oh my lord. Okay, kind of looks like I have no hair, but that's fine. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my March wrap up. Super excited to be filming this. I feel like I was in a huge reading rut in the beginning half of March and then towards the end I started picking up. April's gonna be a good month, which obviously makes me super excited. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I have some good books I want to go ahead and talk about. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this video with the first book, which is Barbarian's Prize. This book came out February 28th. I knew I was gonna read it. I read all the books that have been special edition printed um, through Berkeley Publishing. And yeah, I rated this three stars along with all the other Barbarian Ice Planet Barbarian series. I actually have reading vlogs for all of them if you want to watch it. Um, I recommend it because why not? Um, yeah, three stars. It's not my favorite one, but it was pretty good and I enjoyed it. It's just a typical, like, smut book, honestly. If we're being real here, that's what this is. Next book I actually read was Life After Life by Kate Atk Atkinson, and this was for my English 390 class. I rated this one 3.75 stars. I thought it was really interesting. I thought the writing style was unique. I thought the plot story was unique. It's not my favorite book we've read for my class, but I did really enjoy it. I liked how it was different. I will say, I don't like reading about World War II, really. I don't, I mean, in regards to like, fiction surrounding World War II. That makes me feel like, I feel like very privileged. I don't like reading about war. I feel like probably a lot of people don't like it. I think it's good. I think it's great to expand knowledge about it, um, but it's just not my favorite thing. And there was a large chunk about this about World War II. And so it wasn't my most favorite thing, but I did really like it. I know this is also a series. Probably won't read the second book just because I did read this for class in this one. It's a big bug, um, but I did enjoy it, and yeah, 3.75 stars. Then I went ahead and read The Way I Used to Be. This book got very popular on TikTok, I feel like, and book Instagram, bookgram, and I, when I started reading it, I was like, oh, I've actually already read this book. So I kind of flew through it. I rated it four stars. It's not my favorite story that has to deal with sexual assault as a topic, which by the way, it does pertain to the recovery after sexual assault. I am excited that I reread it this time around because I think the second book comes out in September and I'm super interested to read that because it's several years later and it pertains to the same character of of the way I used to be. I think it's called the the way I am now maybe. Yeah it's called the way I am now and it's going to publish um, in, in November. So I'm very excited about that one but yeah four stars pretty good. Then this is another book for my English 390 class. It is Small Island. I rated this one also three stars. That was pretty good. This one dealt with more like immigration and racial class in England and I thought that was very interesting. I will say the plot twist, I was not expecting it. If you know, you know. I have yet to watch a BBC adaptation. Uh, all of these books for my 390 class have an adaptation, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, Mary Clater just loves her movie adaptations or TV show adaptations. Um, but yeah, three stars. I don't really have much to say about this Reddit for class. Have it Jesus over everything. This book took me way too long to read, which is why I think I'm reading it four stars. Not a five stars just because I feel like I can't, like if I were rating it a five stars, it'd just like be out of pity a little bit. Um, it was good. I thought it was helpful. There was great antidotes in here. I really liked Lisa Whittle's writing. I liked how she set it up a lot. Sometimes I have an issue with how these books are set up, but I think she gave like tangible tips and you know, things that I could actually apply to my life, which is helpful because I do want to make sure that I'm doing as the title says. So yeah four stars. Now this is one of my favorite stories ever and that is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I read this for the first time at my freshman year of college and I rated this four or I rated this four stars. I know I'm like it's my favorite ever. I'm not reading it five stars. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I think Shelley did a phenomenal. Fa I almost said fantastic but I kind of said phenomenal and said she did a phenomenal. She did a fantastic and phenomenal job at writing this. I think the whole question of like, who is the real monster? Is there any monsters? It is like the true meaning of the story, the twist on Adam and Eve, God and Adam. Like there's just so much in here and I love it so freaking much. And so yeah, I rated this at four stars. I actually read this edition for Gothic class. Um, and yeah, four stars. I would 100% recommend this. This is like 
If I were to recommend a story to someone getting interested into classic literature, I would probably suggest this one. So maybe I should rate it five stars. This is the last book for school, I'm pretty sure, and that is White Teeth by Zadie Smith. I was super, super excited for this one, and I will say it just didn't really live up to my expectations. I rated it three stars as well, um, general. My review on Goodreads for any school book just says, read for this class. Okay, could you be more bland, Aubrey? Um, anyways, this one also dealt with immigration. I thought the, like, the int introduction of this character, Archie, was really interesting, I will say. Um, just, I wish I would have seen more. Like, I thought the hook was very interesting. Like, you open into him, like, trying to kill himself. That's not really a spoiler, because it happens within, like, the first three pages. Um, three. I did not say 30. But, yeah. Three stars. I'm glad I read it. I feel like Zadie Smith's other work would be better. So, yeah. Then I read Before We Were Strangers. This book is so popular and I did not like it at all. Like I opened up my Goodreads to read like what I was saying, what I rated it and all that. And I am genuinely shocked that I even rated it three stars. <laughs> I did not like it at all. I love second chance romances. I love love in other words. I love every summer after. I was expecting something like that because some of my favorite or authors, some of my favorite booktubers, like book influencers, they love Before We Were Strangers and I just, there is something about it. I feel like the idea of it was really good, but then when we get to the present day, I'm like, it was way too rushed. I did not like it at all. It was very predictable. So yeah, three stars. This is what I actually said in my review. I just really did not like this. I thought the writing was weird and the plot predictable. Not my fave second chance, if I'm being honest. Yeah. That's it. Went ahead and read The Notebook for the very first time. This movie is absolutely everything to me, and so I was super excited to read this. I read this over spring break. I rated it five stars. I think it's my only five stars from this month, pretty sure. Um, and yeah, I will say, I think I like the movie more, and I don't know if that's just because I've watched the movie so many times. It's what I'm familiar with, but I mean, this like gave us more context to certain things in the movie, but I just liked how the movie was done, and I liked how it ended. If you like the ending of the movie, you might be disappointed in this. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, five stars. This book I read this month, which I'm so sad that I ended the month on this, but don't worry, I started April really strong, so look forward to that um, wrap up in a month. But the last book I read was Icebreaker. Again, another book that I feel like so many people have spoken such great things about. I read it at one star. Are you kidding me? That book was awful. In in my review, I said, I don't ever want to discuss this book. And so I won't because, like I said, I don't ever want to discuss it. I think that's a grand total of 10 books. That is that is getting better for me, I will say. I've, I've, been having a, uh, I've been having a hard time reading, but I think we're getting back into it. I've already read three books in April, I'm pretty sure, and it's the 5th of April. So I'd say that's pretty good. But anyways, I am going to go ahead and go look forward to my next video, which will be my April TBR. I feel like you guys are going to be really excited about what's on my TBR because I know I am. Um, but yeah, please let me know what type of videos you guys want to see. Like I am begging you. I've been in a reading rut. I've been in a vlog rut. I've been in a school rut. I've just been in an overall rut. I mean, my personal life has been going, it's been going up. My love life, you know, um, I'm being weird right now. I'll take any recommendations i will appreciate it always and yeah i will talk to you guys very soon peace and love bye guys